Hey guys, it's Friday here on Transtastic, and our lovely guest this week, Jenna, chose the topic of our relationship towards food slash eating disorders. So I'm going to start off light and then kind of get deeper into the subject. Just dip my toes in and then dive in full head on later as we go on. For a light topic start, my favorite food. I love Polish food. Polish food is like my favorite food. Just all Polish food, all of it. And loving food as much as I do makes it difficult to lose weight. It makes self-restraint really, really hard. Because when it comes to losing weight, it's 80% nutrition, as Chris said, and 20% fitness. So that means you could lose weight and not work out at all, just change your eating habits and your diet. And if you're just changing your eating habits and your diet, you do have to restrict yourself with how many calories you eat. And then eventually it's gonna turn into what you eat. Not just calories, but also like the quality of the food. And a lot of people think that means sacrificing flavor. I did too, but I, that is false. There are a lot of low calorie foods that are clean and healthy and delicious at the same time. You can have low calorie foods that are good for you and taste like they're not good for you. I have a very interesting relationship with food and like for the past almost year, I have been documenting literally everything I eat. Like, like how much I eat of it and how many calories it's worth. Like I'm gonna show you the month of February just to prove to you that this is what I do every day. I write down what I eat. So the third, look at all that food and that fitness and that food and that fitness and that food and that fitness and that food, fitness, food, fitness, food, fitness. Like that was just one week. That's what I do every week and that's really what is necessary to lose weight and the reason why i've had to lose all this weight is because i was i was very overweight and i was very overweight for a majority of my life and i think my depression had a lot to do with it because i when i was like five i was diagnosed with like severe depression and severe ocd and severe anxiety like when i was five for crying out loud i was eating because of feelings there you go. And now that I am more fit, I am much more confident. And it's funny because I think a lot of trans guys are overweight because it gives them a more ambiguous look. And that's definitely kind of one reason why I was overweight. But now that I have lost a lot of weight, it's surprising how masculine, like more masculine my body is to the point where I'm just like, maybe I'm intersex. That's my relationship with food. It's a very difficult, complicated, loving, hating one. I also want to put it out there that FTM Transtastic, as a group, we have created, well, Chase, created an Indiegogo page for uh, the Philly Trans Health Conference because we all want to go, but not all of us can go because we don't live near there. So we're trying to raise some money for hotel, possibly some plane tickets. I know I really want to go and it seems like I might be able to go and we have some perks that you can buy such as a Skype call if any want to Skype with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all want to Skype with me? Right, 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 right. No? Oh, okay. That's cool. We have other things too such as a guest spot and bracelets and I'm sure something else that I can't think of. So if you want to donate to that page go ahead because I mean y'all wanted me to set Philly Trans Health Conference. Come on, it's history in the making. Also, if you guys have any questions about losing weight or nutrition or fitness or anything like that, I'm sure Chris would be fine with me saying you can ask him since he's like specializing in that, but you can also ask me since I've actually gone through it for the past almost year. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.